Welcome back. It's the Flow Friday Sports Show on Flow FM. Time to look at all things Gawler and District Softball. And the league president, Sarah McMillan, is on the line with me. Great to be speaking with you again, Sarah. Another big weekend, I trust, in your association. Good afternoon. Yes, yes, it's been a big weekend and another big weekend coming up. Very good. Well, let's start off with uh, a very exciting round of results in the Div 1s. First of all, two L's made it two on the trot. They got another win this time over the Vikings, three to one. Very excited to have two in a row and it was a very tight game, very, <laughs> very long, tight game. Yeah, we managed to get up in the first innings um, only by a, a home run bringing in two other runs. So and that, they were our only scores for the game. So the three runs and then, yeah, holding tight for the rest of the, the game. And, yeah, got through a number of innings as well, really tight tight fielding. And right. even to the the Vikings who, who got one run in, they were to, had took two very big hits to get that one run in. <laughs> yeah, which is we, which means our outfield was pretty tight as well to, to bring that ball right back in, keeping them down to the one run rather than... Just blowing that right out for us. Yeah, everybody was on edge, yeah, making sure no errors, no one's sneaking through. All right, well done to two wells. Two on the trot, which is great to see after going uh, winless uh, for the entire season up until last week. So finding some very good form there. And it leaves the Vikings a little bit out of striking distance of those top two teams who are the Blue Jays and the Kangas. And they had a draw on the weekend, five apiece. So certainly establishing themselves as the top two contenders and nothing separating them on the weekend. No, a uh, swift effect, but took its tolls on the weekend on both sides. So a couple of players out on each side for the Taylor Swift concert on the Saturday. So, Fair enough. You can't um, you can't blame them for that. <laughs> no, <laughs> just lucky that it's just this weekend. I think everybody else, if anyone else is going to Sydney, they'll be back for the Saturday Saturday game. <laughs> so we're over the swift effect, and we're all going gang ho. But uh, yeah, Kangas and Blue Jays. That uh, yeah, another very tight game and very sort of different game for each side. Kangas had to get some big hits in to get some runs in. Blue Jays were taking advantage of any slight little error just to get themselves around the bases, which they both did really well. But yeah, holding it both tight at five apiece. Obviously, you can't separate them. Both sitting up there on the top, and yeah, very tight indeed. It's been a few close games for them now. The first game they played this year, they drew uh, six all, and then it was a 4-3 win to the Blue Jays uh, the next time they met, and it was uh, 7-4 in favour of the Blue Jays last time. The Kangas did get one win uh, against them as well, so it's been a, a really, really tight slate of games between them. Both got at least one win on the board, and now they've got two draws, so it's going to be interesting to see if they end up uh, playing each other in finals at all. It's uh, certainly going to be a hotly anticipated matchup, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. In the meantime, we've uh, got action this weekend in the Div 1s, and like you said, hopefully uh, everyone's back from their concert going and ready to go, but no doubt there might be a couple still lingering in Sydney. But we've got the Kangas taking on the Vikings, kicking things off. Yes, I think this will be another tight game because they both put in their all for this game. <laughs> I mean, I feel like everybody does that every week, but it just feels that little bit more intense for Kangas versus Vikings. Yeah, I know that it will be a good tight game. All right, and then we've also got Blue Jays taking on two wells, so we'll see if two wells can make it three on the trot. Yep, that's what we're looking for, just to keep this role going, moving into finals. So hopefully that two wells can grip onto their last win and take on Blue Jays. And, yeah, who knows what Blue Jays can bring out because they... They're very surprising each game. They're just getting stronger and stronger, but hopefully two balls can just override that altogether and take them down. And in the Div 2s, two worlds had a bye, but everyone else was in action, and the scores were not quite as close, but certainly not blowouts by any means. Uh, the Vikings and the Giants getting wins. The Vikings over the Kangas, 9-6, to six, and the Giants over the Blue Jays, 9-5. to five. What were some of the highlights from the Div 2 games? The Vikings and Kangas were... That was sort of a... The Vikings got out early and then Kangas were trying to catch them and then and then they took an innings and Kangas went going ho and got right on the board and yeah, it's just a big game all round. <laughs> sort of an up and then a down and an up. <laughs> and I just sort of feel like the emotional roller coaster in that game. 
In the under-17s, uh, sorry, we better look ahead to this weekend in the Div 2s first. We've got Vikings taking on two wells and the Blue Jays taking on the Kangas. So some big games here with finals just around the corner. Yes, so um, Vikings and two wells, that should be a, another a good game. Vikings, I think they're right up there in the on the ladder, aren't they? They're sitting on, yeah, I've got it in front of me here. They're sitting on top, but the Kangas are... Uh, hot on their tail. Kangas have got one more loss. They've both got eight wins, and the Vikings have uh, had that one extra forfeit. So it's equal on points and just run differential separating them. Well, so yeah, I think that, that'll be a, a good game. But they're, they're both very strong in the same kind of way. So they're big hitters, and yeah, it's strong pitching and pitching catching combination. So yeah, it'll be good to see who can be separated in that game. <laughs> All right, that will certainly be an interesting one. Let's go to the under-17s, and they had a forfeit on the weekend, unfortunately. So the Giants cruising to a uh, an automatic 7-0 victory by default there. But let's look ahead to this weekend. Trinity are on the bye, and it's the Giants taking on the Kangas. Yes, this will be another good game. It's yeah, good to see those two out there together. They've got the older under-17s in both their sides, and it's yeah, fairly even playing field, I think. It's, yeah, really tough to make the difference, um, which I called in the last game. <laughs> and, <laughs> but, yeah, I like, yeah, it would be good to see them out there this week. And, yeah, I think last week was a little bit of a swift effect in that game as well. So, fingers crossed, everybody can make it out this game. And, yeah, I think oh, we've got two games left in the season. So, I think, yeah, they need to be out there and showing their best game forward this week. Plenty of swift effect taking place. And in the under-14s, it was another draw, 4 all between the Giants and Trinity College. So I, I imagine it wouldn't be too often that you'd get two draws on the same day. It's not too often that we get draws at all, but this season just seems to be pulling them out on every stop, <laughs> every level. Yeah, um, they had a shorter game for the under-14s because of the weather. When it gets over 35, we have an hour game instead of an hour 15. But, um, yeah, the Giants uh, were struggling to, to hold them in and Trinity got their runs early. And then at the end of the game, Max Rudiger hit this massive home run to bring in three runs to level up the game. And then, yeah, time called for the draw. Big Max hitting a maximum to secure the draw there. And Was everyone keen to keep playing and try and get a result, even though it was hot? Oh, it, it is keen to, to make a result, but at the same time, it, it it was a very hot morning even on Saturday. Was, yeah, so they weren't too keen to play in the heat. Because sometimes you can't stop those teenagers from going at it and they'll uh, get sunburn and heat stroke and dehydration and all the rest of it unless you literally pull them off the field, especially uh, <laughs> when the game ends in a in a dead heat like that. So unfortunate not to get a, a winner, but nothing more entertaining than a draw sometimes. So Especially when it closes off with a home run, pretty much. It's absolutely, like, yes. Very exciting. Yeah, thrilling finish in that one. Giants taking on the Kangas this weekend, so good luck to both of those teams trinity college on the bye sarah we better wrap things up there thank you very much for checking in again hopefully the numbers are good this weekend not too many uh over in sydney to get their hands on some taylor swift merch and and head to the concerts but yes hopefully it's a full slate of games yes looking forward to it Uh, weather looks good as well not too hot great playing weather and yeah looking forward to the weekend